Okay, and then, yeah, we can move like this. You can also check the permeability in I direction, still the same, the same color because it's homogeneous model. The value is here, the palette, 100 millidarcies, and then permeability in J direction, the same permeability in K direction, the same. Okay, and then here we are still in reservoir, by the way. In reservoir, we have grid, and you can see the thick one. So it means that we have populated this section with data and it's acceptable. You can open the drop down menu, you'll find like this. Okay, and then the array properties, they are already good. Now you see this symbol, it means that we need to input data into raw compressibility. So I will open, double click. So raw compressibility, let's be careful here. We need to input pressure dependence of formation porosity or raw compressibility. The value is one per pressure or in this case one per KPA kilopascal. I will put 5.5 times 10 to the power of minus 7. Okay, one per kilopascal. And reference pressure for calculating the effect of compressibility, I will input 11,800 kilopascal. And then we will maintain this one, pressure dependence of rock compressibility. Again, pressure dependence of rock compressibility, we can use these default numbers. Reference temperature for calculating the effect of rock compressibility. Also default setting, 25 degrees centigrade. Thermal expansion coefficient of formation porosity, zero, one per centigrade. Okay, so I will click OK. Now you see, we are ticked for rock compressibility. And the symbol for reservoir is already good. So our data, data that we have imputed into the section, they are acceptable. Okay, at this stage, we can save the model. So we can go to file and then save as, okay, file and save as. And here I will save at my drive and I will call it CO2 injection. That's, that will be my name for the case. Click OK. All right. And now you see, we still have limits in our model, okay? I say previously that in I direction, we have 100 grids, right? But let's say I want to model CO2 storage in aquifer, and we know that the size of aquifer is very big. So let's say I want to make it like sort of, infinite in size in i direction how can i do that so i will change to select and then we will find edit properties here we can use this one edit reservoir property but i think it's not not for this stage so from here we just only start the reservoir modeling by creating the grids and populating the grids with property. Okay, so from here, we will continue with the component. Okay, with the component here, we will set the fluid properties. And because this is CO2 storage issue, we will use compositional modeling and we will model the PVT. We will model the fluid using wind prop of CMG. If you go here, you will see there, wind prop. Okay, so from this video, we will continue the video with the wind prop modeling for the CO2 or the fluid properties that we will use during the simulation. Okay, so thank you and see you in the next, see you in the next video. Thank you.